By far the most versatile and widely used cutting tool found in metalworking today is the common end mill. You'll find it used in shops of all sizes, in both production and special applications. It can be used for many machining operations, which might otherwise require several separate cutting tools. Its unique ability to cut efficiently on its side as well as its end allows it to perform virtually any cutting operation in practically any material. The use of end mills is becoming even more widespread as computer-controlled milling machines become more common. They have dramatically increased the number of end mills used in both the tool room and production arena. In addition, because of their flexibility, CNC machines allows the use of standard end mills where once only special cutters would work. Standard end mills come in a wide variety of configurations to perform effectively in a host of applications. Although they differ in many ways, the one thing all end mills have in common is the cutting edge geometry. Although complex, it is the same for virtually all types. In order to allow the end mill to cut on the flutes, it must have both a primary and a secondary angle so the flute won't drag as it is cutting. The end also requires both a primary and a secondary angle. Of course, like all cutting tools, end mills only work efficiently when they are sharp. Dull end mills result in lower feed rates, poor finishes, large burrs, and decreased accuracy. End mills will also last longer when kept sharp. To most people, sharpening an end mill has always been a mystery. It's either left to outside sharpening services or not done at all. That's a shame because end mills can be resharpened many times and the size change caused by sharpening can be easily compensated for. Because end mills cannot be sharpened by hand, it's usually believed they can only be sharpened by experts on expensive and complicated machines with the unfortunate result that expensive equipment and people are often stuck waiting for lack of a sharp tool. Fortunately, that doesn't need to be the case. Introducing the Derex Precision End Mill Sharpeners. From the makers of the world's best-selling drill sharpeners comes a revolutionary concept that now makes in-house end mill sharpening a reality for shops of any size. Derex has taken the mystery out of end mill sharpening and has made it accessible to everyone. It's so simple to use. Anyone in your shop can learn to sharpen end mills with just a few minutes of instruction. It's fast. You can sharpen most end mills in about two minutes. It's inexpensive, so inexpensive that with the high cost of end mills today, you can usually pay for it sharpening just a few dozen end mills. With a Derex, you'll never leave your expensive machines or machinists waiting for a sharp end mill. Now let's see how easy it is to sharpen an end mill on a Derex. First, select the proper collet. The Derex uses precision 5C type collets, and with the handy storage compartment, they're always where you'll need them. Now tighten the collet and end mill into the air spindle, leaving the flutes exposed. Rock the stylus fixture back to the primary position for sharpening the primary angle. With the motor off, align the wheel so it's aligned with the outermost edge of the grinding wheel and back the wheel away from the stylus. Loosen the stylus knob and slide the stylus in or out until you can rest one of the flutes on it. Now turn the motor on and feed it towards the end mill until it just touches. Feed in one more thousand. Grab the easy pull knob with your right hand and draw the end mill over the stylus until it falls off. Because of the easy pull knob, notice you don't have to stop to reposition your hand at any time. Push down the clearance lever to back the wheel away and set the next flute on the stylus. Slowly release the clearance lever. This brings the wheel back to the exact same position as the first flute, ensuring accuracy. Without moving the feed knob, grind the second flute and repeat the same procedure for the remaining flutes. Usually, if it's the first sharpening and you haven't had to remove much material, you can stop now. However, if the primary edge is too wide, it's easy to correct by simply touching up the secondary land. Just rock the stylus fixture to the secondary position and grind the flutes as you did on the primary. Notice you don't have to worry about the clearance angle. Although the angle required varies with the end mill diameter, the unique Derek stylus fixture automatically compensates for any diameter changes to always produce the correct angles. There is no need to look at charts or make adjustments. Often an end mill only needs to be sharpened on the flutes. 
At times, the ends also need touching up. To sharpen the ends with a Derex, there's no need to reposition any fixtures. Just move the stylus back and out of the way. Slide the index collar up and drop the pin in the hole corresponding to the number of flutes on your end mill. With the pin in the collar, move the spindle forward until the end of the end mill is almost to the edge of the wheel and position the first flute to grind horizontal. Now, lock the collar. Feed the wheel until it just touches the end. Then move the wheel off the flute and feed the wheel towards the end one or two graduations. Slowly move the wheel towards the end mill and continue feeding it until it reaches the middle. Now feed it back and index to the next flute. Continue this until all the primary edges are sharpened. As with the flutes, you don't often have to grind the secondary angle. But if you do, it's simple on the derricks. Just lower the spindle to the secondary position and grind as you did on the primary. The end of the end mill has what's known as a fishtail geometry. This means the outside corners of the flutes are higher than the middle. With the derricks, you don't have to give the fishtail a moment's thought because it's automatically produced. This Derrick sharpener is made to last for a lifetime of trouble-free service. The frictionless air spindle is hard chrome-plated alloy steel, and its sleeve is stainless steel to resist corrosion, and it's backed by the best warranty in the business, three years on parts and labor. Although the factory new geometries produced by the Derricks work well in most situations, at times different angles may be more desirable, and they're easy to produce on the Derricks. For more relief, position the stylus slightly to the right of the wheel. For less relief, just drop the spindle a little. The standard collets are all that's required to handle the majority of your sharpening needs. Additional collets are also available, including adapters for shanks up to 2 inches. Although the standard wheel works well in most applications, for even greater accuracy and less hassle, try using a Borazon wheel for high-speed steel, or a diamond wheel for carbide. These wheels eliminate the need for wheel dressings and can give better finishes. If you do stick with the standard wheel, wheel dressing is no problem with the wheel dresser attachment. Also included with every end mill sharpener is an exclusive wheel balancer to keep your machine vibration free. The standard Derrick's precision end mill sharpeners come ready to handle the majority of your sharpening needs. Even sharpening some roughing end mills can be easily done. However, for those times when standard end mills won't do the job, the Derrick's E92 attachment is available to keep those special end mills sharp. Ball end mills have always been a common tool found in the tool room. Today they are found more and more in all areas of production. Ball end mills are easy to sharpen on the E92 attachment. It uses the same 5C type collets as the standard spindle. Just mount the end mill in the spindle, position it so it touches on both the side and the middle, and sharpen. Flute accuracy is maintained by the precise indexing mechanism. You can sharpen radiuses on the corners of the end mills by offsetting the fixture and sharpening in a similar manner as on the ball. In this fashion, most any corner radius can be produced. Tapered end mills, used mostly in die making and special applications where it's not efficient to use standard end mills, can also be sharpened on the E92. A special stylus fixture is included that mounts on the end of the fixture. Just set the fixture to the desired taper and sharpen in a manner similar to sharpening standard end mills. Notice that both the primary and secondary edge can be ground. Sharp end mills have always been an important part of efficient milling. Improving machine technology will place an even greater responsibility on end mills to perform, requiring an even greater need to keep them sharp. With a Derrick's Precision End Mill Sharpener, you will increase your milling efficiency today and stay competitive tomorrow. Derrick's. There's probably no other equipment you could buy that can save you so much for so little.